me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad good you guys it's your girl cc aka cecilia robinson aka cc and i want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today before we get started i need you guys to like subscribe share and hit that bell so you know when i'm coming on listen please 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 share the videos to everybody who's been rocking with me thus far i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart if you're new if you're new here, you can hit that playlist, bring yourself up to speed. I have a few announcements. The prison stories are getting ready to come to an end really soon. But when it ends, the memoirs of Cece does begin. So please stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it just as much as you enjoyed the prison stories. Two, I will not be dropping videos twice a week anymore. Only once a week. That will be on Wednesdays. Three, I do a live show Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Trill Talk Media, which is another YouTube channel. You can go over there, subscribe. My show is called Trill After Dark. It's busting. It's busting, it's busting, it's busting. I have two co-hosts, Black and 7-8, and we doing our thing over there. Now, last but not least, the C half is fully active. Every Saturday, I'm dropping new exclusive content in the C half. Now, if you want more content from me and you have not signed up to the C-Half or came over and checked me out on Trill Talk Media, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? But what I do want you to do is enjoy this video. Listen, when I tell you my adrenaline was pumping so hard, I, I, I mean, every, my heart was beating fast. My heart was beating fast. My, my breathing was going so fast. Now, mind you, I have asthma. You know what I'm saying? Now, that done sprayed me with this mace, which is called OC spray. Now, this, this shit ain't, ain't, ain't hit me yet. You know, I just know I've been maced. The, the CEO, Mr. Mac, he's on top of me. You know, he's on top of me. He's telling me, don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about nothing. Now, I hear everybody off in the background like, damn, CC the BDPS. CC the BDPS. You hear motherfuckers cheering. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I hear all of the chatter. And, and I got to be honest with you. It's nothing like looking over at where this bitch DP is laying and seeing her motherfucking shoes sprawled out and her trying to get her motherfucking self together for me stomping a mud hole in this bitch ass. I felt motherfucking good. You know what I'm saying? So this other CO comes over. His name is Deaver. You know what I'm saying? So he helped Mr. Matt get me up. He helped him get me up, you know, they done cuffed me and shit, and they, they walking me towards the gate. So she yelling, aha, bitch, that's why you going to the hole. So you hear somebody in the background like, bitch, shut up, you just got your ass beat. You know what I'm saying? Now, as I'm walking out the yard, it's like a little path. As I'm walking out this little yard, well, not little yard, that yard big as shit. As I'm walking out the yard, you hear everybody, we love you, CC, we love you, CC, I swear to God. I felt like a motherfucking superstar. I felt like... I took the big one for the motherfucking team. Because this bitch had been getting away with a lot of motherfucking shit. And even though I had nothing to do with nobody else's motherfucking problems, I did what I needed to do for me. I never knew that that one fight would change my whole fucking life. Now, check this out. Like I said, they had maced me with OC spray. OC spray is this orange spray, um, which the bulk of it caught, was caught in my Keymar. Um... My face started to burn as we started to walk, and the burning sensation it eventually made its way up to my eyes. Now, I'm telling the COs why they got me, you know, I got a CO on each side of me, and I'm cuffed in the back. They're walking with me, and I'm telling them, like, my eyes is burning, my eyes is burning. They tell me, look, you, gonna, you finna be all right. We got you. You're going to be all right. And so they taking me to the infirmary because, yes, I just got through fighting. They got to document any bruises or anything on me. And they got to cleanse me out. Cleanse out my face. Not cleanse me out. That sounds nasty as fuck. But they got to clean my face off because of this OC. So 
I did not know that me whooping DPS was going to make these COs respect me a lot more. You know, so as we walk and I'm telling them my face burn, they tell me I'm going to be all right. Um, they get me up into the infirmary and I, I they get me in there and they she got asthma, get her asthma pump, you know. So they unhandcuff me and see me on the bed and I'm sitting up in there. You got one nurse that's in the infirmary and she's cleaning my face with whatever solution she had to get this OC spray up out of there. And you hear the COs telling the nurses like treat her special, treat her special. She just whooped DP ass. So they're like, what? You know, everybody is seem like everybody is so fucking happy. And this is real. So um, they give me my asthma pump. I'm, you know, I'm puffing my asthma pump to see. Um, the nurses tell me, look, hit it deeper. Hit it deeper. And I'm hitting it deeper. She, we're going to take really good care of you. You're going to be all right. Don't worry about a thing. CO's telling me the same fucking thing. Now, I got to wait a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? They just shut down all movement on the compound and everything. Um, I got to wait a few minutes until they, my face and shit dry and I can catch my breath. And I'm not breathing so hard and my adrenaline goes down before they cuff me up again. Because now it's the process of me getting ready to go to the hole. You know, now I got to tell you, I got to be honest. As I'm walking, as the CO's done cuff me up and I'm walking up out of the infirmary, a motherfucker's looking like, who she fight? Who was she fight? So motherfuckers just yell, she was fighting DP. Motherfuckers like, that's my CC! That's right! And all that. So, I mean, I'm being cheered the fuck on. But, all in all, I'm still walking to the motherfucking hole. Now, the hole is like a two-block walk. You gotta walk down this path behind all the units, and you you walk to this fucking hole in the back. This is motherfucking big brick building. Now, as I'm walking, the CEO's talking to me like, don't worry about a thing, you're gonna be all right. Um, there's a lot of people that's pleased with you. I say, I'm going to be all right. He said, yeah, you're going to be all right. Now, I got to be honest with you once again. I was worried. I knew pretty soon I would be coming up for parole. One of the last things you want to do when you coming up for parole is go to the motherfucking hole. Reason being, they can give you a hit at parole when you go to see the board. They can give you a hit. What's a hit when they deny you parole because you're fighting? They see a write-up. They see any disciplinary act disciplinary actions against you they're gonna say oh but you're not ready to go back to the street you stay up in here a little longer me another thing i was worried about was i was fighting in the fucking yard the yard is considered a riot area anytime you fight in the yard you get 90 days off back because it's only a few co's in the yard maybe seven co's at a time and it's thousands of inmates in the yard so one fight can turn into a whole fucking riot and it could put the the lives of the co's at risk it just is what it is so i'm worried about this so i'm, I'm asking the co um deeper the older man i say y'all i say man i said they finna throw the book at me ain't they he say don't worry about nothing he keeps telling me, don't worry about nothing don't worry about nothing so finally we get to the hall um to the building where i'm going to be housed at which is the hole solitary confinement they let the gates open and they walk me in now as i'm walking in the gates you hear motherfuckers yelling out their windows we love you cc we love you and it's like you know it's like bitch shut the fuck up you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i'm going to the hole you motherfuckers talking about y'all love me what was this love at beforehand and a lot of the bitches who was yelling they love me you motherfuckers was fucking with mirror fuck y'all you know what I'm saying? But that's just one of the things that's up in prison. You know what I'm saying? It's also one of those, I don't want to say dick riding things, but it's like, damn, this bitch just beat the, beat the brakes off a motherfucker. I earned my fucking respect. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't no fight in a fucking cell. I was fighting in the yard. Everybody seen that shit, so everybody at this point really, really know I got feet and motherfucking hands, and I'm not afraid to use them. You know what I'm saying? That's that's one of those things. So they they open the gate and they walk me down to the entrance and they tell um you know they already know I'm coming. Um they tell them like yeah, treat her real good and everybody up in there like yeah, we know. You know, even though I hear all them saying these words, um I'm, I'm scared than a motherfucker. It's a difference be between jail, it's a difference between prison and it's a difference between the whole you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been to the hole in this big ass prison before. I done been to the hole before, but it wasn't here. Now, I done heard stories about this motherfucking hole. I done heard it was haunted, a bitch to hung herself, all different type of random ass shit. So, I'm expecting the worst. I got to be honest with you. Now, check this out. So I'm standing in a in a in a little foyer and the, the intake officer is standing there. You know, they unhandcuff me and I have to strip naked. They gotta take pictures of my body and everything, my hands, everything, you know. 
Um, I got I'm on at this point is I'm really on my period. So I gotta pull my panties and stuff down. I'm telling the CEO like I'm on my period. She said, Don't worry, I got you. You know, and she's talking to me. She said, Don't worry about nothing. She said you're gonna be really well taken care of. And I'm thinking to myself, Well, I ain't, ain't nobody ever told me they're gonna be really well taken care of when they come to the motherfucking hole. You only get three meals a motherfucking day. You can't have none of your contraband, ain't no lip gloss up in there, no brushes, no nothing. You you down on the ground when you up in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You have no con no human contact with no fucking body when they they when they they gotta walk you like a dog and all this shit i done heard all these fucking horror stories so after they get through taking all these pictures of my body and shit trying to make sure i don't got no no um no injuries and all this other shit that the infirmary may have missed they tell me you know they give me another set of clothes and this is what i have to put on while i'm up in the hole okay cool now when i get dressed you know, I ain't got none of my property and shit. They tell me my property will be over once everything is gone through. Now, one of the processes um, that happens when you get ready to go to the hold is once you're gone to the hold, COs will have um, COs will have your 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 celly pack up your things and they'll bring it over there to the hole. Once they go through it, they take out all your contraband and all this other shit. Mind you, I just moved into the cell with Nikki. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just moved in there. So my shit is really still packed up. Have it go. Um, once I get dressed, I put my hands up because they tell me to put my fucking hands up. Once again, I got my hands in the fucking air. They put a belt around me and they, they handcuffed me at the waist. And then they put this, this, this belt on me. So it's like a leash. So they got to walk me like a fucking dog to my, to my unit and to the fucking cell I'm going to be in. Now, they walk me down the hallway on this fucking leash. It's two, it's two COs on my side and one CO that has the leash in the back. And they talking to me like, well, why did the fight start? And they asking me all these different questions. I'm telling her, I said, she run her, she run her fucking mouth too much. I was like, um, I was like, I don't know her like that. I don't tolerate her like that. I don't deal with her like that. I said she was being too disrespectful. So, you know, other CEOs had their little opinion like, yeah, I don't fuck with her. I don't like her and all this other shit. And it's like, man, I'm not looking for no sympathy. I'm not looking for none of that shit. It's just I'm I'm telling somebody my version of the fucking story. Now, they when I when I walk to my unit, you know, um, they open up this door and it's probably like 50 cells, 25 at the top, 25 at the bottom. These cells go around in a circle. You know what I'm saying? Um, there are a few tables, maybe three little tables that's sitting down there um, on the floor. But everybody else is in, in, in a door standing there looking. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a fucking, um, I feel like a zoo animal. It just is what it is. So when I walk, oh, I forgot to tell y'all this. They made me take my motherfucking key mark off, but of course, and I had to take my braids down because they had to make sure I ain't had no fucking uh, razors or nothing in my hair. So my hair standing all the way out. I mean, I look wild in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> when I when I walk in in the hole, um, you hear everybody, man, they go CC, they go CC. Now, mind you. Mirror is already in the hole, and it's four different sides to this fucking hole. I mean, four different units. I don't know what mirror is, so I hear the I hear the intercom. Um, I hear the people come across the intercom, like the 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 COs, the ones in the control office. Like, yeah, put in a cell next to her girl. So I hear somebody say, "Mirror, mirror." So Mira come to the door and I'm looking around because I'm trying to see, you know, where she at. But I spot her. She, Paul, what you do? What you do? You know what I'm saying? So you hear them on the intercom, on the radios, talking about the fucking fight. So Mira was like, you was fighting, you was fighting. So everybody get hyped up in there. Imagine everybody is in a fucking cell by themselves. So motherfuckers want to know what's really going on, what's really going on, you know. So I can't talk. They tell me don't say anything to them and all this other shit. You know, wait till they leave. Wait till they leave up out of it and then I can have all the conversations I want. So they walk me up the stairs and they put me in the cell right next door in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? So I get in the, when the COs and stuff leave, I get in the door and I tell mirror, I say, yo. I said, I just beat DPS. So me was like, what? I said, yeah, that bitch was talking crazy. So me was like, man, you just want to follow me up in here. No, bitch. She was talking crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? She was talking crazy to me. Now, here's the thing. I don't 
know the process of the whole. You know what I'm saying? So I'm asking Mira like, yo, but what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? So Mira going to say, Mira tell me like, well, tomorrow you got a hearing. You're going to have to go before the board, the hearing board, and they're going to let you know how much time you're going to get in the hole. You can get 15 days. You can get 30 days. You can get 60 days. You can get 90. So Mira telling me most likely you're going to get 90 because you was fighting in the ride area. So she tell me, I'm going to fish you over some, some slips and shit. You fill these out. When, it, when it's time after you come from the hearing because you can appeal and all this other shit. So I'm spooked. I got to be honest with you. I spent the rest of the day, you know what I'm saying, in my fucking bunk not saying shit to nobody. I just needed to process everything that had just happened because I was now in a fucking hole. You know what I'm saying? And being locked in your cell, being locked in your cell um, uh, 20, 23 motherfucking hours it's a mind, it's a mind thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I lay in my cell, 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 and I finally fall asleep. Um, you, There's no sense of time up in there. You don't got to stand for count, nothing. TV stay on all fucking night. People hollering out they cells, having conversations, bitches getting in whole relationships. When I say what's a whole relationship, you only fuck with the motherfucking the whole. Motherfuckers playing with they pussy. So, the people upstairs... Say if it's a bitch downstairs, um, the person that's upstairs, you know what I'm saying, they talk to one another so they can look down in their cell and they can see them playing with their pussy and shit like that. I mean, it's really weird in the hole. Long story short, the next morning come and they come get me for my hearing. So they strap me up and walk me like a fucking dog to the shower first. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, you only get showers when you're in the hole twice a week. Because I had got um, OC sprayed and they had already taken their showers for the week, it, I couldn't get a shower. But special, uh, a special uh, uh, request came down saying go get her a shower so before my hearing they they gave me a fucking shower you know what i'm saying so i was able to get all fresh and shit get all the grass and dirt stuff up off of me and all that other stuff was able to get dressed in my, my whole clothes and they took me down to the hearing so when i walk inside the hearing which was downstairs and it's it's the uh, office you know what I'm saying? It's an office. Um, it was probably like 20 COs up in that motherfucker. You know, they got me on a leash. I got the two two COs on the side of me. And I'm walking. I'm telling you, my heart was in my fucking pussy. My heart was in my pussy. It was like, yo, these are the people. It's just like the judge. It's just like going to see the fucking judge. You know what I'm saying? But to, look, I had only been locked in a hole. This, this, that 20, it was what, 22 hours? Um, and that already had taken a, a toll on me. You know, it had already taken a toll on me. The people screaming and shit, that shit was doing something to me. So what if these people would have told me, bitch, you got 90 days? I don't know what I would have did. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I would have did. It was just like I probably would have went fucking crazy up in there. Bet shit crazy. Have it go. When I walk in the door, I'm telling you it's about 20 CEOs. Everybody like, I hear motherfuckers like, that she go right there. That she go right there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking like, what the fuck is this? So, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm walking in. I'm walking in slow because I don't know what I'm walking into. So this one, this white CO dude, I had never seen him before. Never. Never seen him before. I don't know where they been had this motherfucker at. Uh, he walk up to me. He say, um, what kind of coffee you drink? I said, I don't drink coffee, sir. He said, you want some cocoa? I say, yeah. He said, you want a donut? I say, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah, I want this shit. Motherfucker, I ain't got no, you get this shit in the hole? Yes. So he said, he go over there, he give me a cup of cocoa. He had a cup of cocoa and I had a donut, right? Just, just a regular cake donut, some shit from Dunkin' Donuts. I ain't had no motherfucking donut, Dunkin' Donuts a long motherfucking time. Now, I remember seeing the first 48. When motherfuckers want you to tell some shit, they start offering you shit that you cannot get. You know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucking donut from Dunkin' Donuts and a cup of cocoa. Well, you can get some cocoa, but it ain't gonna be from Dunkin' Donuts. So, he when he give it to me, um, you know, I'm still cuffed and shit. They, they sit me down and they uncuff me. I'm in front of the hearing examiner. 
So it's a white lady behind her computer. She young, you know, and the rest of the officers like, so tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. And I'm I'm eating my donut and drinking my cold cold. I said she was running her fucking mouth, so I had to beat her the fuck up. So my fuckers is cracking up. These are fucking COs. They cracking up all the time. What I didn't know was they were gonna play the video. All the time, what I didn't know was these motherfuckers was already playing the video. They ain't done played this fucking video the whole motherfucking time since the shit happened. Motherfuckers, when I was thumping DP out, these motherfuckers was on the camera. They knew, um, they, they watched the whole fight on the fucking cameras, the security cameras. And here's another thing. The CEOs who, who had to, you know, tackle me down and all this other shit. Not tackle me down, but you know, arrest me in the, in the fucking yard. These motherfuckers allowed that fight to go on because they couldn't stand her. You know, so I, even though I told the CEOs up in there, you know, what happened. I said she was running her mouth, so I, you know, I stumped the bitch out. They, they done played this video, and they keep playing the video, and they, every time they play, they rewind, they rewind, they rewind, oh, there go her shoe, oh, there go her shirt, you know, they, they getting a kick up out of this shit, you know, so the, the CEO who gave me the cocoa and the donut, he said, I just want to let you know, he said, inmates don't get special privileges up in here, he said, but I do want to let you know, but since you're going to remain on this campus, he said, every time I see you, he said, I got something for you, he said, you did a lot of us a favor. You know, and he said, and I did my job because I told everybody I was going to give you a donuts and coffee. He said, but you don't like coffee? I tried, but you got your cocoa. He said, salute to you. And I'm thinking, I said, these motherfuckers in here trying to trick me. You know what I'm saying? So the hearing examiner, she tell everybody, she said, okay, you guys, you know, show's over, show's over. He, she said, I got work to do. So the hearing examiner asked everybody to leave. Only three other officers stand there, stand there with me because, you know, they got to be on the side of me because they don't know if I'm irate or whatever. They just got to, you know, patrol me. So she asked me what happened. I tell her again. I said I was standing in the yard. I said I was waiting to get information about, you know, my girlfriend going to the hole. I said, and DP walked, approached me and started, um, Asked me to, you know, have a conversation with her. And then I said, she started verbally attacking me. I said, I didn't like the word she said. I said, I'm not going to lie to you. I said, I beat her ass. She said, well, I see that. She rewind the video a little bit more. She said, I see that. She said, you got her really good. I said, yeah. I said, did she have to say, did she have to stay in the infirmary? She said, she stayed a night in the infirmary. She said, she's back out on campus now. Um, so one of the CEOs said, yeah, she ain't came up out of her cell yet. She was so motherfucking embarrassed that she did not come up out of her cell. And far as I heard, she had lumps, bumps, and bruises is all over her fucking face. I'm telling you, I was tagging that bitch ass. So the hearing examiner said, so, you know, um, you were fighting in a um, riot area. I said, I understand. She said, but you are not a problem. Um, we spoke to your unit manager. We spoke to other CEOs that had to deal with you previously. And nobody can give us a bad report on you. She said, so what I'm going to do, she said, I'm going to give you 30 days. And she said, you have the opportunity to appeal the 30 days and get those days cut down when you talk to IBS. IBS is a special uh, special unit um, of, of um, staff inside the prison that say, hey, Cut that shit in half. Let them go back out. They're not a problem. Or double that shit and all this other stuff. So I tell her, okay. I sign off on my paperwork. I go back to the unit. I tell Mira what happened. Um, and Mira like, damn. Like, that's crazy. That don't even happen. So while all this is going on, I tell Mira. I said, why the fuck are you in the hole? All the time, Mira is in a fucking hole. Not because she got into it with anybody. But because this bitch stole. She stole a motherfucking white plows and some other shit from the maintenance crew you know what I'm saying and, and not only did she steal some white plows she stole white plows white pliers a mechanical pe um, pencil and a bitch stole a pack of motherfucking Oreos so, so her fat ass can eat you know what I'm saying and they ran the cameras and shit back and they they seen it was her and that's why she was in the fucking hole so the whole time I'm thinking this bitch is out there throwing them you know what I'm saying and that's not even the case I right, check this out. So while I'm up in the cell and me and Mira is talking and we trying to bond and you know I'm trying to tell her what's going through my mind. She's trying to tell me what's going through her mind. They bring my property up there. So when they bring my property up to the to my, my cell, you know, I gotta step back and show my hands and show my feet and all this other shit so they can make sure I don't got no weapons, which I don't see how I'm gonna get one. But they open up the door and they hand me my property. Now when they hand me my property, um 
every motherfucking thing is in there. Hell grease, Vaseline, um, um, tar gel, which is the grease, the little medicated grease and shit. I'm talking about I got stuffed animals that, that Mira had gave me. I got all my motherfucking contraband, kites, everything. Normally, they go through your property, they take out all your contraband, and if the shit is too bad, you get rolled up for that shit while you in a fucking hole. But when I say I had all my fucking contraband, I had all my contraband. Now it's time for the second meal of the day, which is lunch. You know what I'm saying? So when the people come around, the CEOs come around to bring lunch, you get one tray. You have to be standing at the um, you have to be standing at the fucking door. If you're not standing at your door, they're not gonna feed you. There ain't no coming back, ain't none of that. So I'm standing at the door when they come with the fucking trays. Now, when I get there with the trays, they don't they don't open my little slot in the door. They tell me you have a two tray order. What? They tell me um. You have a two tray order and this comes down from the warden. Meaning, I get extra food while I'm in the fucking hole. Normally, I told you you only get three meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ain't no extra. And, and them plates is not full. None of that shit. I'm, they starve you in the fucking hole. But they gave me a two tray motherfucking order. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, I had double everything. Double portions of everything. That shit felt good you know what i'm saying after eating my motherfucking lunch i'm talking about i'm laid back on my bed like a big dog i really ain't got shit to say to mirror i'm just enjoying my small celebrity so far because so far the shit is paying off now another motherfucking thing different people come on to the to the to the unit to say different things or to see different inmates and all this other shit listen when i say every staff member in that whole motherfucking prison made it their business to come onto that unit and stop by my cell to thank me for whooping this bitch ass. Everybody, when I say I met every, every staff member in that prison, I met everyone, everyone. And they came by there, knock on the door, knock on the door, knock on the door. Hey, I just wanted to meet you. I want to say you job well done. Say to you job well done. How you doing? I wanted to meet you. You see, see, hey. We're fans of your Listen Motherfuckers talking about fans of mine Here's another motherfucking thing Motherfuckers went out and bought my book Even more <laughs> Even more It was like I was a celebrity in a fucking hole You know what I'm saying Now When IBS It was time for IBS to come around Motherfuckers don't know who's who in this in this in this hole you know what I'm saying You find out who is in a hole when you walk past their door You know one of the dudes who was who who walked past who was with IBS, he was he was the Mr. F. He was the dude who allowed me to get that the CK job when I was in blues. So he like, holy shit, Robinson, what you doing in here? I say I BDP up. He say job well done, but there's still no reason. He was like, you you're better than these pieces of shit. <laughs> You're better than these pieces of shit. I say, yeah. I say, well, can you get me up out of here? He say, I got you. You know what I'm saying? He say, I got you. And that's how my time got cut in half in the hole. You know, listen, I just want to say stay tuned. I got some more shit for y'all. Y'all be smooth.